Hey guys, and uh, welcome to part two of my eBay, well, my massive eBay pickups video. Um, <clears throat> part one's just been uploaded, so uh, please check it out. And it's huge. So yeah, it covers things like PlayStation 2, Sega Saturn, um, N64, PlayStation 1, Famicom, PC games, Mega Drive, uh, GameCube, and Wii. So this is going to cover Game Boy. Uh, and NES. So we'll fire into the NES first. Uh, these are three NTSC games. Now if anybody knows me, I like my nin well my NES games complete. Um, but for NTSC games, I'm not too bothered. I'll just take the loose carts if I can find them. First up is the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon. And this is in really nice shape. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been opened. You know, so it's cool. And uh, a nice little bit. The sticker's really nice. Stuck down really well. Not peeling off at all. No scratches on it. No scratches on the cart either. And that's awesome. Next up is Mylon Secret Castle. And this is um, basically a game that uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd um, reviewed. And I watched that. And uh, he said it's shit. But you know what? I actually really liked it when I watched it. So I decided to pick myself up a copy. Um, sticker's really good, no problems there, and that's fine. It says USA cart at the bottom there. Somebody stuck a label on, but that's easy to get off. So yeah, Mylon Secret Castle. I uh, actually really enjoy this game. And last, a game I've really wanted for quite some time, and it comes in a nice protective sleeve, is Burger Time. Now, this is a game I've wanted for quite a long time, and I'm so happy I have it. Um, you know, the, the cart's in mint condition, so is the label. But if you look in the back, it's even better, as it's a five screw cartridge. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Famicom converter on the inside of this, but unfortunately it's not. I did open it. It doesn't have the Famicom converter, which is a bit disappointed with. But um, yeah. So this is pretty cool. And obviously no clips at the top because it's a five screw cartridge. So yeah, really happy to have these get this well, these games. Together, the whole uh, the three games cost me eighteen pounds, so I thought that was a good deal. And obviously, one of them comes with a dust sleeve, and one of them's a five screw cart, so can't complain about that. The difference between the five screw carts and the three screw cartridges is the five screw cartridges were released early in the Nintendo's lifetime, and they they some of them had Famicom converters on the inside of them. Then they revert to three screw cartridges and none of them have uh, the three screws have a wee clip at the top, I'll show you. Just there, plastic clips, whereas the five screws don't. And that was basically to save money, save time, and the three screw games don't have Famicom converters in them. But some of the five screw ones do and they're quite rare. But yeah, so that's my NES uh, pickups there. Moving on to uh, Game Boy Color. We'll do Game Boy Color first. Um, I got Rugrats in Paris, the movie, uh, and this game's complete. I'll just show you the insides. The game's in there. It doesn't have its protective box, but the the manual and that's all packed up in a baggie. So that was cool, and that was one ninety nine. I also got this game from him, Three Lions. Uh, I'm Scottish. I'm not a fan of the England football team whatsoever, but you know what? It's cool to have, and I quite like it. Uh, unfortunately, the box is scratched at the top here. Um, but it's a nice game. It's not too bad actually. For Game Boy Color standards it's quite cool. And uh, it's boxed and complete. As you can see in the top there, the cart's there and the manual's there. So that's cool. And that was one ninety nine. So that was off the same guy, so that's cool. Then moving on to the mint condition ones. Quest for Camelot. This is mint shape. This looks like it's just come out of the shop. Uh, there's not really a ding on it. There's well, a couple of dings at the top, but apart from that, it's fine. On the inside, the, the game's in there. And the manual. The game doesn't have the protective box, unfortunately, but it's in nice shape. And that only cost me 99p. Free postage. That was fucking ace. Off the same person, I also got Super Breakout. Uh, this one isn't mint, but it's, it's holding its shape well. It's got the game in there, and it does have its plastic cover. And the manual and a poster as well in there, which is cool. And it's an awesome game, it's really addictive. 
Uh, and I also got Rayman. Now this is mint. This this honestly hasn't got a ding on it. Looks like it's just come out of the shop. Uh, really cool condition. So we'll open that up. And the game's in there. As you can see. And the manuals and all tucked away in the back there. I won't try and get them out. Because if I try and do that for every game. Honestly the, this video is going to be like an hour long. Uh, another Game Boy Color game. was Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. This is in nice shape. The game's on the inside. It's got its protective sleeve uh, case and the manuals and the little uh, like Game Boy Company information leaflets. It's also got the security protective sticker on the front. Now I have tried to remove it. Uh, almost ended up ripping the box, so stuck it back down. It ain't coming off. So, but no, it's cool to have. So I'm happy with that. Moving on to a bundle that I got. I got. Uh, a mint inboxed Game Boy Color in lime green one with a half sealed copy of Tetris DX and a mint condition copy of Super Mario Brothers. And these, all this cost me £19.85, I think it was, and that was including postage. And it was a guy from Aberdeen, uh, as you can see in here, uh, it's got a bit of carb like paper in there just to keep it in shape the game and the manuals are all bagged up. That's still uh, partially sealed. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Mario Brothers Deluxe is nice condition game as well. It's a great game, works perfectly. And going in here, the game's bagged up. And so are the manuals and everything. And onto the Game Boy Color itself. This is a nice condition one. I've never, I've never had a, well, I don't have a boxed Game Boy. Uh, so in there, I'll see if I can get this one out. And that's the Game Boy Color. It's in nice shape. It's even got the battery pack. <clears throat> I've got a turquoise one that doesn't have the battery pack. So I might use that as a trade or I might keep that one. But this one's cool. So I'm happy to have this. And yeah, like I say, off a guy in Aberdeen. So I couldn't complain there. So it was really cheap postage. So that was awesome. Uh, next up, uh, for the normal Game Boy, I got loose carts. I got Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, really good game on the Game Boy, this actually. Quite impressed with it. Nice find. And I got this for 2 99 I also got uh, Batman. This is a Japanese release one. Um, and it's got a nice protective case there. So yeah, that was cool. That was a uh, three ninety nine. But I, ha I wanted a box copy of it, so I went and got a box copy of Batman. And this is the the UK PAL one, and it's in not bad shape considering the age of it. Uh, it's even got its uh, plastic protective tray with the game there, and the manuals are all tucked in the back. That one cost me four ninety nine. So yeah, I know. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I'll sell the, the loose cart one. Uh, I also got Lemmings for the Game Boy. Uh, this is a nice shape too. Doesn't have the the in, well the you know the interior packaging, um, but the game does have its uh, protective cover and the manuals in there as well. That was one ninety nine for that one. <coughs> Top ranking tennis. Uh, nice game. Nice game. No interior packaging again. But uh, the game does have its little protective case. And the manual's in there as well. Giving it a go. It's not a bad game. And those two... Well, I got the top ranking tennis for one ninety nine as well. Uh, and a rare Game Boy game here. This is Xenon 2. And this I bought from Germany. Because it's got German text in the back. It's all in German. But that doesn't matter. It still works fine on the Game Boy. It's got the game in there. It's got a bit of bubble wrap separating the game from the case just to keep it in shape and the manual in the back. And that's in really nice condition. Uh, I heard this game was really rare so I thought I'd see if I could get a rare, uh, like a, a cheap copy of it. And I did. And this only cost me, I think it was nine euros. And that was shipped as well. So that was cool. But on to the one I've been dying to get to. And this is awesome. I got these, well, the games here 
uh, Legend of Zelda Link's of Star Trek in the Next Generation Mint Tetris the Game Boy Portable Carry Case all in one job lot so we'll get started we're going to move up here a little bit Tetris is in its protective case I've already got this game so I'll probably use this as a trade I'll probably keep the case and just sell the game but if there's anyone on YouTube who wants it, you know, give me a shout and we'll see if we can do a little bit of a trade. Star Trek The Next Generation. This is a uh, boxed, mint condition and complete. Um, doesn't actually look like it's ever been played. It's even got its uh, plastic sleeve in there. It's got the game case, the game, manuals, posters, everything in there. So that's pretty fucking cool. And a really shite copy of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I actually passed this up at Thainstein about a month ago uh, for £3, but the game's in there. It's got a little bit of writing in the bottom of the game, but I can remove that. So it's Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, the instruction manual, which is all shot to hell, and the game box, which is all crushed to hell. But I actually got free off the guy because he took ages to send it to me. I got really pissed off with him and I said, hey, you know, what the fuck? Where the hell is this? Because it took about a month to arrive um, from England. And he said, you know, he just he just completely forgot about it. And I was like, what the fuck? So he sent me a free game. So he sent me Star Trek, Legend of Zelda and Tetris as a way of making up. But this was initially what the job lot was all about. He said the games that are in here came with a carry case. I didn't realise it was the actual official Game Boy carry case. That was such an added bonus. And I was so happy when I got it because these things are not cheap. I can tell you that now. You try and find a really cheap, good condition one on eBay. But once we open it up, you'll see we've got a new B case for your Game Boy and your games. Uh, we've got a new B speaker as well, which is in nice shape and it works fine. And a ton of games. And these are some rare ones. First up is the Smurfs in its protective case, mint condition. All these games are mint condition, unless I state otherwise, but in fact they are actually all mint. Faceball 2000. <clears throat> Mega Man 2. Fucking awesome game on the Game Boy, this is. Very rare and not cheap. So that was cool. Uh, Turtles 3 Radical Rescue. Sunsoft Daffy Duck. Awesome game. Gargoyles. Nemesis. Kid Dracula. Batman, the animated series. Bubble Bobble. I'm psyched to have this in the Game Boy. I really am. Really happy I found this. Tracks. And now on to the rear pile. <laughs> Up is Pro Protector. This is in really nice shape. <clears throat> Mint condition. And goes for quite a lot of money. But, uh... So does this one. Probotector 2. Yeah, Probotector 2 on the Game Boy. Fucking yippee ki -yay. And the last game I got out of that lot, and I'm really happy I have one of these games, is the Jetsons. Robot Panic. And I'm really happy I have a Jetsons game. Uh, the Jetsons were like my favourite cartoons back in the day, along with Flintstones and all sorts. And uh, I really wanted to get it on the NES, but the thing goes for ridiculous amounts of money on the NES. But um, yeah, so that's it. And that lot, I just showed you all the games, the carry case, Zelda, Star Trek and Tetris. That lot I bought for £50. All included. So yeah, so that was fucking ace. So anyway guys, that wraps up part two of my massive eBay video um, pickups. 
The reason I'm not doing part three um, until I come back from Poland is because there's still a couple of packages that haven't arrived yet, which I'm a bit about. But um, hopefully they'll arrive uh, by the time I'm back and I'll get the video posted up then. But anyway guys, this is it for just now. I'm going to be probably doing a faint since pickup video tomorrow, um, which I will upload when I get back, which I'm going to up upload after part three. And um, yeah, so take it easy guys, have a, a good two weeks, please comment and subscribe, I would love it if you could leave some comments, I don't have many and I'm really wanting some, uh, and uh, obviously video views and subscriptions would be cool as well, but uh, I really hope you've enjoyed these two videos, uh, it's well over 40 minutes for the two of them, and it's definitely my biggest purchases, and I'm so proud of them, but please let me know what you think, and um, yeah, I'll see you in two weeks guys. Take it easy.